They arrive unannounced, streaking across the vast emptiness between the stars, carrying with them the secrets of distant worlds. In the last decade, humanity has received three such rare visitors, each a messenger from another solar system, each more enigmatic than the last. First came Oumuamua, a needle-shaped mystery that zipped past our sun in 2017. Next, Borisov, a comet that looked reassuringly familiar, yet hailed from the great beyond. Now, the latest and perhaps most perplexing guest, 3i Atlas, discovered in 2025, and already rewriting the textbooks on what it means to be a comet or an interstellar traveler. Together, these three objects challenge our understanding of planetary systems and the nature of cosmic migration. So what sets them apart and what do they reveal about the galaxy we call home? The story of each interstellar visitor begins with a moment of discovery, a fleeting signal in the dark, captured by telescopes scanning the heavens. Oumuamua made its dramatic entrance in October 2017, spotted by the PanStars telescope in Hawaii. It was already on its way out of the solar system, moving so fast and on such a sharply curved hyperbolic path that astronomers quickly realized it had come from beyond. Borisov appeared in August 2019, discovered by amateur astronomer Gennady Borisov in Crimea. Its trajectory too was hyperbolic, but its path and speed were more typical of a comet, only distinguishable as interstellar by its velocity and inbound direction. Then, in July 2025, the Atlas survey detected a new object, which would become known as 3I Atlas, the third confirmed interstellar object. What set Atlas apart was the rapid identification and the wealth of pre-covery data. Its track had been caught in images from other telescopes including NASA's TESS mission, providing astronomers with a detailed record of its inbound journey. Like its predecessors, its orbit was unmistakably hyperbolic, but its velocity and angle suggested origins deeper within the galaxy, farther, possibly older, than anything seen before. As each visitor approached the sun, astronomers scrambled to study their appearances. Oumuamua, the first, was a cipher, it showed no obvious coma or tail, the hallmark features of comets. Instead, it appeared as a point of light, its brightness varying erratically, hinting at an elongated, tumbling shape, perhaps cigar-like, perhaps pancake-flat, but never resolved in detail. Borisov, by contrast, was a classic comet, a bright core surrounded by a glowing coma, trailing a tail of dust and gas, its nucleus was estimated at about a kilometer in diameter, and images captured from Earth-based telescopes and Hubble revealed a familiar icy traveler, albeit from another world. 3i Atlas, however, entered the scene with a blaze of activity. Long before it neared the sun, at a distance of 6.4 astronomical units, almost as far as Jupiter, it was already shedding gas and dust, forming a prominent coma and tail. This early activity was startling. Most comets remain dormant until they are much closer. The size of its nucleus remains uncertain, but the sheer volume of its coma and the brightness of its tail set it apart from both Oumuamua and Borisov. Where Oumuamua was an enigma and Borisov a familiar silhouette, Atlas is a spectacle, a cometary showstopper whose activity is visible even in the outer reaches of the solar system. But appearances tell only part of the story. The true nature of these interstellar objects emerges from their composition, the gases they release, the colors they reflect, the secrets locked in their ice and dust. Oumuamua frustrated all attempts at direct measurement. Its lack of coma meant that astronomers could not capture its spectrum directly. Its surface appeared reddish, possibly coated in organic material, but its internal makeup remains a mystery. It neither glowed with the familiar gases of a comet, nor showed the reflectivity of typical asteroids. Some theories suggested it was coated in alien ices, or perhaps composed of solid hydrogen or nitrogen, but none were conclusive. Borisov, on the other hand, revealed a composition remarkably similar to solar system comets. Spectral analysis found cyanide, water vapor, 
and carbon monoxide, volatile gases that boil off as sunlight warms the comet. It was rich in dust, and its behavior as it neared the sun matched what astronomers expected from a typical icy traveler, suggesting that planetary systems across the galaxy might form comets much like our own. 3i Atlas, though, has already delivered several surprises. Observations from ground-based telescopes and space observatories like the James Webb Space Telescope have revealed a comet rich in carbon dioxide with a CO2-dominated coma. This is highly unusual at the distance where Atlas became active, much farther out than water ice would typically sublimate. Water vapor is present, but in much lower proportions compared to CO2 and carbon monoxide. The absence of detectable water ice on the surface is another anomaly, challenging models of how comets behave in the cold outer regions of space. Atlas's spectrum also shows organic compounds and emissions from molecules like cyanide and traces of nickel. Its overall hue is reddish, similar to Oumuamua and Borisov, but with hints of dramatic color changes as it approaches the sun, shifting from red to green, possibly due to volatile gases like cyanide being released. To understand the nature of these interstellar visitors, astronomers have turned to polarimetry, the study of how sunlight is polarized or scattered by dust and gas. This technique reveals the size and composition of dust grains and the presence or absence of ices. Borisov's polarization signature matched that of solar system comets, slightly negative polarization, typical of fine dust grains mixed with ices. Oumuamua, with its lack of coma, provided no such data, leaving its dust properties a blank slate. Atlas, however, stands out dramatically. Polarimetric studies have shown an extremely negative polarization branch, a phenomenon rarely seen and never before observed in a comet so far from the sun. This suggests a dust environment dominated by very fine, possibly organic rich grains, and perhaps a lack of larger icy particles. Combined with the color changes, from deep red to green as it heats up, Atlas's behavior challenges our understanding of cometary physics, pointing to exotic processes at work within its nucleus. But where did these objects come from? And what do their differences reveal about the galaxy? Recent analyses of Atlas's orbit suggest it originated from the Milky Way's thick disk, a region populated by older, metal-poor stars with an estimated age of 4.6 billion years. This makes Atlas an ancient relic, formed perhaps when the galaxy itself was young. Oumuamua likely came from the thin disk, about 1 billion years old, while Borisov, at 1.7 billion years, also traces its ancestry to the thin disk. These differences hint at a rich diversity in planetary system histories and the processes that send objects hurtling into interstellar space. The variety in compositions, rocky, icy, organic rich, suggests that worlds around other stars are as varied as those we see in our own solar system. Among these three, 3i Atlas stands out for its early, intense activity, its CO2-dominated emissions, and its unprecedented polarimetric properties. Its behavior hints at reservoirs of volatile ices preserved for billions of years, and dust grains shaped by conditions unlike any in our solar system. The shifting colors and strong outgassing at great distance offer a glimpse into the chemistry of distant, icy worlds that may never have seen the warmth of a star. Still, many mysteries remain. The precise size and shape of Atlas's nucleus are unknown, hidden within its bright coma. Its internal structure, layered, fractured, or monolithic, remains a subject for speculation. The exact mix of trace gases and the processes driving its unusual activity await more detailed study. Even its origin, while traced to the thick disk, cannot yet be pinned to a specific star or system. As Atlas sweeps closer to the sun, astronomers are preparing for a new wave of observations. The James Webb Space Telescope, Hubble, and upcoming missions like SphereX will turn their eyes to this ancient wanderer hoping to catch new details near its closest approach in late 2025. Amateur astronomers, too, may catch glimpses of its changing tail and shifting hues, adding to the collective record. In the end, 
These interstellar visitors are cosmic ambassadors, each with a unique story. Oumuamua was the shadowy surprise, Borisov the classic cometary guest, and Three-Eye Atlas may be the richest tale yet, an ancient messenger from the thick disk carrying the volatile secrets of alien worlds. Three visitors, three cosmic messages. In their diversity, they are reshaping our view of the galaxy and hinting at the infinite variety of worlds yet to be discovered.